Hi everybody! Yeah, I know, it's been two weeks. But this video is kind of a different video for me. Because as you see, my hair, of course, is lighter. And you're probably wondering um, why it's lighter. And that's because I was trying to go for making my hair light. Because I was trying to get blonde hair. Because I always thought blonde was pretty, but my hair for some reason just will not take and won't let me get blonde hair. So since it's this color, I went to Walgreens the other day and I got a new hair dye and it's a new color. And I've actually used this line before, but I've used different colors in this line. It's L'Oreal Paris Fiera, or F Feria, Feria, sorry, Feria, Power Violet. It's Intense Medium Violet V48. So it's like a purplish plummy color, which is what I read on some of the reviews that people wrote about this. They said it turned out like a plummy color on them. So I think that this will be pretty. And I've used this line before, and what I mean by I've used this line before is I've used different colors. And I like this line, and I like their colors. And the colors I used before was... One was their Power Reds, and it was an Auburn Red Velvet, which was R48. And it was a really pretty red, and that's when I was trying to get red hair. And it was pretty, and it actually did turn out red on me, which is the first red I ever had that was red on me. <laughs> and then there was, I tried the L'Oreal Fiera Brush On Intense Ombre 060, which is... In a couple videos back, um, if you go back a couple videos, you'll see where I had like half of my dark color hair and then like the ombre at the ends. That's when I used that. And then I used Starry Night number 21 and it's like a bluish black. And that color was real pretty too. And that was when I first cut my hair and it was kind of short. And I tried the color because it looked so pretty. And the girl on the box had short hair too. And it looks really pretty so I wanted to try it. And I tried that. And the best thing about these is they come with the conditioners. And the conditioners smell so good. And they come with like a, a, sh a shimmering oil that you put in them. And that helps it to smell good as well. So I am going to be doing... I'm going to be doing my hair with this tonight. Once I do my hair with this and I dry it and everything, I will come back and show you guys the after of what it looks like. And then you guys will see the after. So you guys see my hair now. This is before. And then once I'm done and my hair is dried and everything, I will show you guys the after of it. Alright. See you then. Bye. Hi everybody. As you see, my hair is done. I dried it with the blow dryer. I brushed it. I know you're probably like, wow, she's got some crazy lion hair. <laughs> Her hair's crazy. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't get time to straighten it or anything or make it pretty or anything like that. But I figured if you see it true after I just dried it with a hair dryer, you'd actually be able to see how it really is. And if you're wondering what this dark patch is, that's from some black I had in my hair and I couldn't get the black out. So, naturally, when I dyed over it, you still see the black part, but the rest you see is the box dye. And it is very pretty. Like it says, somebody said it's like a plummy color. It is like a plummy color. I wish it was sunny outside so I could go outside and show you guys what it looks like in the sun. And then you'd really be able to see the color true. Is there any way you can hold the light up to my hair so they could see it? You can't? Just like a piece of my hair? It's hot, Chess. Okay. Well, maybe I'll take a picture tomorrow in the sun and then add it to this video and then you guys can see my hair in the sun and you see it now and then you'll also be able to see it in the sun. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions or any comments, leave down in the bottom. And you can also... Um, thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.
I won't.